Shalom to everyone. Today we are learning Zena Shimshon Parashat Bereshit, the first parasha of the Torah. Today Zena Shimshon is the first Zena Shimshon for the fifth cycle. We are learning today fifth year Zena Shimshon, and today is the first parasha. Bezichut of Zed Hashimshon, Hashem should give everyone Parnasa Tova, Refua Shlema. This Karono should disappear from the face of the earth. Amen. Those who are waiting baby boys, Hashem should give them baby boys. Amen. Those who are waiting to have more children, Hashem should give them more children. Refua Shlema al Chol Chol Amo Israel. And also, today we want to say Leilu Nishmat, Molot Doni, Ben. Dino, Bitya, sorry, and Molo Berach Ben Yushuo. Molo Berach Ben Yushuo Niyazov, Ruach Hashem Tanichenu Baganeden, his son and the nephew and the other son, they did a Sephardic Sidur app and also Shara Eliyahu app. Hashem should give them Barachav Aslacha. Even the chair that I'm sitting in is because of his son. Thank you, Mr. Alex, Mr. Shlomo. Thank you very much. The new chair feels so, you have no idea, it feels comfortable. Every minute I learn on this chair, you get the half share. <laughs> and also, today is Reilu Nishmat, Molo Doni Ben, Bitiyo Ruach Hashem Tenichenu Baganeden. Nine months ago, Molo Doni passed away, Ruach Hashem Tenichenu Baganeden. His sons, one is here too in Israel, they are the ones who wake their rabbis up in the shul. We have a shul. He comes, always wakes me up first. He comes first to the shul. This is what I have to learn from them. He come to the shul, not just time to come, but come first. His grandsons, Rabbi Mordechai, Rabbi Daniel, we learn together, we grow together. Hashem should give them Rachav Atzlacha. His son-in-law, Mulobachor, Fazilov. Guys, Tzadik Yisod Olam. Tzadik Yisod Olam, Hashem should help him to grow the Torah of Mitzvot Ma'asim Tovim. And I'll tell you, Mulobaruch, your sons should become bigger than you could imagine. Amen. Today I was shocked when I got such a text message from my former old, 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 old student from Queens Gymnasia, Rabbi Michal Ibrahimov. He lives in Miami, he doesn't live in New York. But he likes our shiurim and wants to be part of the sponsors also. And he says that we should pray for Parnasa, for Yaakov Ben Vera, Panir Ben Yafa, Panir Bad Yafa, Dina Bad Panir, Refua Shlema Vera Bad Yafa, Kulangi of Yafa Bad Frida. And also, Leilu Nishmad, Amavdil Ben Chaim Lechaim, Leilu Nishmad, his great grandfather, Gavriel Kulangi of Ben Avigail, Dino Bad Sana, Yafa Kulangi of Bad Dina, Sonia Kulangi of Bad Dina, Markel Kulangi of, everybody knows him, he taught thousands of students for Bar Mitzvah for free, Kulangi of Bad Dina, Basanda Bad Sivio, Miriam Bad Suri, Hashem should give them Barachat, Tzlacha Parnasa Tova. Rab Michael, easy labor to your wife and by Zad Hashem, we should participate in your happy occasions by Zad Hashem. Amen. 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 Today, as we mentioned, guys, it's not a joke. We have all our people who are here five years ago, almost everyone we have here today. And that is Mr. Rabbi Ilan, Rabbi Baruch Avram, Rabbi Tzion, Rabbi Yaakov, Mullah Kandov, Rabbi Ovadia, uh, Rabbi Shlomo Tzadikov, Rabbi Shlomo Niyazov, all the guys, Aulov brothers. Uh, by the way, Leilu Nishmat should be the grandmother, uh, Frida Bad Malka. By the way, you should know, tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., Mr. Aulov is coming back, and 8 a.m. in their house, in their apartment, will be Shacharit. Everyone must come with masks, please. They're going to get upset or otherwise. And uh, what time it's going to be? Morning. Shacharit is? 8 o'clock. What's the apartment number? Uh, 5D. 5D, and the building number, 108? 62-60. 62-60 and 5? 5D. 5D for David. Okay, 8 o'clock, Shacharit tomorrow. And Baruch Hashem, five years ago we had with us Mr. Bachayev, Mr. Aaron. Asherov, thank you. Uh, we had Rabbi Nathaniel. Why are you sitting in the back? Okay, thank you everyone for being with us. Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Adam, Rabbi Hillel. Everyone. You did an amazing job for five years. By Zad Hashem, we should meet together also in five years from now. Amen. Okay. 
By the way, hindi lang basahan to. One simple thing. Give me one sidur, any sidur. What did Hashem create before He created the, to- the world? Huh? <laughs> Hashem created the Torah before He created the world. I tell you, thousand chidushim we said before, this is beautiful chidush I saw from a person who passed away exactly 10 months ago. His name was Dr. Morat. He was one of the... He was one of the Tamidech Chachamim and I did not know about it. His grandson, yes, from Tov. Yes, his grandson was my student in uh, Sharetzion. One day he comes and says, Rabbi Akilov, my grandpa heard your Zed Hashim Shon class. He loved it. And he gave you two books as a present. One is Torah Min Hashemayim and second book also. He gave me two books as a present. So I thought, okay, good book, you know. Then I looked at it on Rosh Hashanah. I loved it. And I said, Chidush from 1 to 100 from all the Aleph Bets on Rosh Hashanah. Yes, they were sold also on the Brit Mila. It's very simple. Count from Aleph to Tav, all the letters without zeros, you'll get 200. Why should it be like this? Avram Avinu Hashem said, I'll give you son when you're 100 years old, so the whole Torah should be in your son. Therefore, Shavuot corresponds to Yitzchak Avinu, Shavuot, holiday of Torah, it's Yitzchak Avinu. Avram is Pesach, and Yaakov Avinu, Avram Avinu is Pesach, Yaakov Avinu is Su- Sukkot. So now, he says second beautiful thing. How do you know? Before Hashem created the world, He created the Torah. How do you know? Look at this, very simple, beautiful thing, beautiful. Look at the letters before Bereshit. Before Bet is Aleph Gimatria, 1. Before Resh is Kuf Gimatria, 100. 101. Before Aleph, there's nothing before, so therefore Aleph, 1. So you got 102. Shin is, before Shin is Resh, that's 200. So you got 302. Before Yud is Tet, so you got 3, 3, 302 and 9. 3, 11. And before Tav is Shin. Shin is 300, you got 611, that's Gimatria Torah. Bereshit, after the letters of Torah. So if you now you have Bereshit, so what was pre-Bereshit? Was Torah. Hashem looked at the Torah and created the world. Very good. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 611, Gimatria is Torah. Okay? Let's go further. Midrash Rabba. We are holding in Zed Hashim Shon Parashat Bereshit, letter Vav. Please put your fingers on the words. Those who have the Gemara, those if you don't have, I'm sorry, Sefer. If you don't have a Sefer, please look inside in Shaire Eliyahu chat. Midrash Lava, Al Pasuk. By the way, <coughs> Rabbi Avigdor Miller used to say, when you sit on Shabbat table with your children, you must speak one, two minutes about Olam Abba. If you want your son to believe in Olam Abba, you want your daughter to believe in Olam Abba. Not like, oh, who cares, you know. How do you know it's true? Okay. When child asks about Olam Abba, here you see that he's not being raised in the house when they talk about Olam Abba on Shabbat table. And that is very important. Very important. Why? Because Klal Israel is the main thing, not Olam Abba, but Olam Abba. Al Pasuk. What it says in the Torah? On the third day, on the fourth day, what did Hashem create? Fish. Luminaries, no? What? Luminaries. Luminaries. Well, when was that, sun and moon? Four days. Day, yeah. On the fourth day, Hashem created luminaries, sun and moon. Look what it says over there. Al Pasuk, etamahora gadol lememshelet ayom, vetamahora katol lememshelet alayla. The big light, sun, for the day, and the small one is for the night. Big problems. How can you say moon for night? Well, weren't they originally correct? No, no, no. They created identical? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Rabbi Ilan wants me to make sure longer. It's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Hashem made sun and moon the same size. It's a shnei Two big luminaries. So now what happened? Moon came to Hashem and said, Hashem, that's not fair. How can two kings sit on one chair? People will not know the difference between them. Hashem said, oh, what do you want? One of us should be small. Hashem said, very good. You came first, you'll be small. For how many times he became small, according to some opinions, I believe it's Ga, Ga, how many times? 30,000 times. 30, times. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. 15,000 times. 15,000 times, moon became smaller than the sun. Therefore, to come and come down the moon, Hashem made all the stars. 
So, so you'll have around, around you all the lights. Because we feel bad to moon and we take part with Hashem, we make Birkat Alman every month. So now, why did I say first 30,000 and I changed to 15,000? The answer is, moon is bigger than the world two times. Sun is bigger than the world 30,000 times. Why? Because moon is smaller than the sun for 15,000 times. And moon is bigger than the world two times. Therefore, I said first 30,000. The sun is bigger than the world 30,000 times. Tell me one thing. Gemara Ta'anit, page 3b. Gimala Mudbed. Gemara says, even if you don't say Mashiva Ruach, still wind going to be there and clouds going to be there. Right? So Rashi says, why do you need wind? Big deal, we don't need wind. Why do you need wind? Do you need wind every day? Huh? Why? Huh? Rain. Wind talks about the after the rain, right? Before the rain, do we need uh, wind? Why? Ah, if there would be no wind, sun will burn the whole world down. <laughs> we need wind to cool off the power of the sun. Sun is huge. If there is no wind, we cannot survive. So therefore, we need the sun, and we need the. We need wind, and we need cloud. Okay, let's go first. Al pasuk et amor. Thank you, Ilan. Thank you. Al pasuk et amor agadol memshel et ayom. So the big one will rule over daytime, which is sun. Esav. Do you know in the mother's stomach Esav when I can start calculating? One month yours, one month mine. One month. So so sun. Who took sun? Esav or Yaakov? Who took sun? Esav. If Esav took sun, then Yaakov took what? Moon, right? So one second. When we, they were calculating months, who took month of Elo? Esav or Yaakov? Who took month of Elo? Huh? Originally Esav. Esav took originally month of Elo. So one second. Why do we get up to Silichot then? What's the point? Yaakov, Hashem said condition to you. If you will get up early in the morning <coughs> to do Silichot, you will take away that month from Esav. If not, Esav will take over, then you're done. Therefore, we did Silichot the whole Elul. Why? To take our month back to us. Therefore, Hashem said, for those who get up in the morning, make Teshuvah and Elul, what did Hashem say? Ani le dodi ve dodi li. Not to Esav, to, to Yaakov. Very good. Esav mone lechama shei gedola. Esav said, I want to take sun to me because sun is bigger. Ma hachama hazo sholetet bayom vena sholetet balayla. But no, the mistake was, he didn't know how sun only rules over the night. I'm sorry, the sun, the daytime. How sun rules over only the daytime. But does not rule over at night. Kach Esav yesh lo chelek ba'olam hazeh ve'e lo chelek la'olam haba. Therefore, Esav has only share in the world, to, in this world, but not in the world to come. What's the proof? Now, now, go outside now, dark. Do you see sun outside? No. Do you see sun outside? No. You don't see sun outside. How you don't see sun outside at night? You will not see sun in Olam Abba. Nothing there. Doesn't have power there. Moon has power there, not sun. Yaakov humone la levana. But Yaakov counts to... Moon, shehi ketana. This small moon is small. Ma halvana hazo sholet bayom uvalayla. How moon rules at daytime and at nighttime? Kach Yaakov yesh lo chelik baolam azeh uvalam abba. Ad kan lishono. Same thing. Yaakov, klal Israel, tzadikim, they have share in the world where we existing now and in the world to come as well. Where do we learn from? Moon. Do you see right now outside? Let's say no clouds. Do you see moon outside? Yes, you do. What if daytime? Do you see moon outside? So the sun is not so bright. Huh? It exists. It's, it's not, not it's not lighting so much, but do you see or no? Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Maxima Kadmonim, the Imken. So previous rabbis asking question. If so, yes, Lochech Mikan. This Khar Mitzvah Bahaya Al Malik. Oh, one second. Didn't you tell me those who keep mitzvah they don't have share in the they don't have mitzvah? In this world, Tzadikim have nothing. Tzadik може сколько хочет митцву сделать, в этом мире он ничего не получит. Мы сказали много раз. Да. А что зачем когда говорить? Яков Вину has shared in the world, in this world. Яков enjoys this world and rules the other world. Why do I need to know? We said many times, Tzadik doesn't enjoy this world. 
Uldidam lo kashe klal. And according to us, there's no questions at all. Shafal pishal vano shalit bayom. Mikol makom ena meila klal. Yeah, even though moon has some ruling during the daytime, it's there, it runs, but does it give any light? Does it have strong light, daytime? Nothing, big deal is there. Same thing Tzadik in this world. Tzadik in this world, he's here, but does he enjoy so much now? Question to you. Rabbi Gabriel, Rabbi Adam. Rabbi Daniel. Answer my question. If Tzadik doesn't enjoy this world, why do you need this world? To earn the next. Or the to take this world and to turn it to the Olam Abba. You understand? The Shraga Batiyar Alamaika Mahanya. Because, let's say the candle. Tiny candle in the dark. What's going to help you? Same thing here. Same thing. Uben. Bayom Uben Balayl Hiktana Meachama. No matter what. No matter what you said, Sadiq is here, Sadiq is dead world. Still, still you're smaller than the sun. Sun is 15,000 times bigger. You're still smaller, so what's your, what's, the, what's your point? What's your benefit? You're still smaller. And so I was still bigger, Yaakov. And you're still smaller. Ella, shalvana nil et af bayom. But you know what? He says, I don't care if I'm small. But I'm still visible daytime. Sun is not visible at night. Go outside, find the sun. You're not going to find sun at night. Vachama and an idet cloud balayla. And sun is not visible at all at night. Vechen isel afilo atzadikim enam meilim baolam azebe or... How am I Even if, tell me one thing. If let's say they'll give you right now binoculars to see what's going on in Olam Abba, and you see big light, who is, is let's say you see thousand big lights, who would be those big lights? Big! Who's that? Moshe Rabbeinu, Avraham Avinu, Tzadikim, Tzadikim, Rawad Yosef, Arizal, right? Big Tzadikim. Guys, don't get it wrong. After 120, you'll be also giving such a light. Because each one of you, you're living American dirty world and you're coming to Shiurim. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. So now, so now, you give a person, Tzadik gives big light in Olam Abba. I feel that Tzadik and I'm in Olam Olam Abba. Even if Tzadik doesn't give such a strong light in this world, the way he gives in Olam Abba, this Chayba Mitzvah, Mitzvot, Bahai al Maleka, because the reward for mitzvot in this world you don't have. El Shem Nikanim Ben Aumot. Baolam Aze, Afalpi Shem Ketanim, Dalim Ushefelim. But because of your mitzvot, you are visible in this world and in front of the eyes of Goyim. Do you know how many Goyim respected Allah Yosef? Do you know till today how many Goyim respect Lubavitch Rebbe? They go to his grave and they cry and they pray. They say, "This stuff I pr- blessed my mother and I was born." Do you know this stuff? Baal Shem Tov also big rabbis. Rambam. Rambam exactly, big rabbis. Still today, Goyim speak highly about them. Why? Hashem said, "Yeah, you're not gonna have to give such a light like the way you give on you know, a but you're gonna give some light. You're gonna give some light. And Goyim will be making sure that you will be visible in eyes of Goyim as well." Kidiktiv as it says, Vaiten Otam Lerachamim Lifnekol Shoivehem. And Hashem puts Tadikim for mercy in this world in front of the eyes of those who capture them. <laughs> okay, basically Tadikim are in this world for bring mercy. Shebuchol Makom, Shem Olchim Nasim Sarim La Adonehem. Anywhere, anywhere Tadikim go in this world, they become masters to their master. As it says in chapter 11, Gemara Sanadlin, page 104a. Shemuchachmize, So it comes out to see that Sadikim have certain image in this world. The odd, and also, Shetfilad at Sadikim Nishmat. Anytime Sadik opens his mouth, even though in this world Sadik doesn't have rewards for the mitzvah, but anytime he prays for someone, Hashem right away answers his prayers. Hashem hears his prayer, exactly. And this is the difference between Klal Israel and Umot Olam, which is following the sun. It says, Who is like a great nation, Klal Israel, that Hashem is close to him? In any time, 
anyone calls to Hashem, Hashem answers him. Bechol korenu, two reasons, two, two, two pshats here. Bechol korenu means in any time we ask. Bechol korenu, or bechol korenu, no matter who you are. You're a big tzaddik or you're a small tzaddik. You, you made Teshuvah a minute ago. And you call up to Hashem, Hashem answers. Hashem answers right away. Do you understand the pshat? Yeah, can we go further? Yes. V'yish lomar, and we could say, Dikashi lil bala midrash. Now we have question on the bala midrash. Lama katav kira et amar agadol ha memshel ta yom batchila. Why did he say, big luminary, to rule over the daytime in the beginning? Why would you say that? What is the main thing in this world? This world or Olam Abba? Olam Abba, right now? So why is he mentioning sun first? Mention the moon first. And tell me one thing. When Shabbat begins, when Shabbat begins? From the night or from the morning? Huh? If Shabbat begins from the night, so why Midrash doesn't speak from the moon first? Speak from the moon first, no? Tell me, if you have your side of your father tomorrow, when do you make Yeshua? Today or tomorrow? You do tonight. Why? Because night first comes and then comes day, right? So why Midrash explains from the morning, from the sun? Start from the moon. Start from the night. Make sense the question? Let's go further. And then he mentions the night. First mentions morning and then mentions the night. And then he mentions the night. First you should say the small one rules over the night because Friday night starts from the night and then say the big one because every night follows day. Not day follows night. Ah, what? What, what? One more time. What's first? Started with the night yeah, and then completed it with the day. So very good. Yeah. If it starts on the night, you need first to talk about what? Sun or moon? Night, sun or moon? Moon. 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 So, so why it starts from the sun? That's the question. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Why it starts from the sun? <coughs> that's the proper. That's the proper way it should have be. Because story, what pasuk says? And it was evening. It was morning. So starts from the night. Elavada tzayich lomar sheba baze lefarish lanu shema she amara katu vayhi ele vayi bokel demash me sheayu molech achad alayla eino leolam ken. This is what midrash teaches us from sun and the moon to show us not always in the life the day follows the night. There is one situation, actually a few situations, when night follows the day. Who can remind me where is it? When night follows the day, by Korban Shlamim. We'll see right now. Sha'arel inyan ha-kidusha hu lehefech. When it comes to Kochim, it's opposite. Sha'alay lo olech achar hayom. Night follows the day. Kida'ashkechan ba'achilat Kochim. When it's a, when we found, we found, when person eats Kochim. Korbanot. Sha'nechal layom valayla. How you have to eat korban? Day and, day and night. And you have to burn it by the morning. So you make shechita, you have to eat daytime and nighttime. So we follow night after the day. Ah, makes sense. Bayom, bayom karbano yachel enech minu ad boker. What Torah says, you have to eat it daytime, don't leave it till the morning. So in nighttime you have also for that. Till the morning. Vechen belimud ha Torah amrinan. Same thing by Torah learning. You woke up 8 o'clock in the morning. You said all the brachot birkot Torah, right? All day you're learning Torah. After one o'clock you want to learn Torah again. Do you have to make bracha again or no? No, why? It follows till the morning. So we see from here, your bracha on the Torah goes daytime and nighttime, till the morning. So we see from here, day follows the night. Not like by creation, night follows the day. I'm sorry, did I say right? Opposite. Follows the night. Day follows the night by creation, and by Torah learning, night follows the day. As it says in Gemara Eruvin, page 65a, Anan Pale, the Imama, we are workers of the day. Anan Yazefinan, the Imama, Uparinan, Belayla, we borrow daytime and we pay night. Vechen Mashma. So we see from here, night follows the day. Vechen. Mashma mipshat akatuf, and also comes out from the pshat of the pasuk. She afa erev niktayom. We see from here that the, even the night consider day. Even the night consider day. Midichtiv, as it says, vayhi erev vayhi boker yom echad. What it says over there? And it was evening, 
and it was morning, one day. So what is called day? Part of night, part of day. Part of night and part of day can see the day. Huh, Rabbi Daniel, you with me? Part of night, part of day is day. Right or wrong? Huh? Even the night can see the day. Even the night can see the day. Huh? Zero plus one is one. Zero plus one is one. Okay. okay. The Hainu Sheyom Echad Hu Kalul Mi Boker Ume Elev. One day is like vinaigrette. It has day and night. Mixture of two things. Ume Gufe Dikradidan Muchach. And from this Pasuk comes out. Shehalvana Yeshla Shlita Bayomu Balayla. That moon has ruling over daytime and nighttime. Moon has ruling over day and night. Kfi said the Nyana Kedusha Shalayla Olech Acharayom. How do structure of the holiness like Korban, Torah, the, the night follows the day. The Karinan be Hachi the Memshelat Ayom. Therefore, we say. Uh, Moon is la memshelet ayom to rule over the day. Ve'etamora katon, and it says what to rule over the day. The small, the small luminary means what means what moon rules over night and rules over the day. So one second, if you think Klal Israel has only ruling in Olam Haba, wrong, because they rule over night and day, so they rule over Olam Haza as well. So therefore, the only one can help. To get rid of Corona in the world is Klal Israel, nothing else. It's only Klal Israel, only. The Mashmamino comes out from here. Shamara Katon Shali Sholet Av Bayom Vachakach La Memshel Dala La Aba Achar Ayom. And then it says, uh, Sun does only. Oh, sorry, Moon does Vachakach La Memshel Dala La Aba Achar Ayom. So Moon does ruling daytime and also the night following the day. Next, Umiyat Shapir Kamar. And now it says beautiful. Esav mone lechama sheikvar gedola veenla lid gadel od. Tell me one thing. Esav chose sun or moon. Sun. Why? He said, "I want to be biggest." When you get biggest, is there anything bigger than that? No. This is the proof. A goy has no chelik no lamava. Esav got sun. That's the biggest. There's no more improvement. There's no more room for improvement. This is an ad khan. Finish with it. After this, you have no more share. Look what it says here. Esav has only share in daytime. When the day is over, is no continuation. Done. Even if this day is considered night, when it's compared to Olam Abba, you know you enjoy this, this world, right? When you come to Olam Abba, this world will be to you like a night. So, this is nothing. The main enjoyment is Olam Abba. I, did, I thought that was enjoyment. Wrong. This world, when it comes to Olam Abba, it's night. It's darkness here. Why? The most enjoyment is there after 120. The Yaakov Monel El Vana Ketana. But Yaakov Avinu is considered... After what? He's, he's following what? Yaakov Avinu? After moon, which is small. The whole katan, so full it gadel. But any small has a share to become big. Chance to become big. Any small has chance to become bigger. And it also rules over the night and the day. The day, I'm sorry, the night and the day, yes. The Adraba, Mavhik Ora, Balala, you tell me Bayom. And not only that, moon. Nighttime, it gives you stronger light than daytime. Mm -hmm. So it comes out, not only moon has also share mm -hmm. to rule during daytime, but yes, the yes. biggest light he has when in Olam Abba. Same thing, Sadiq. Even though he enjoys a little bit in this world, he puts Roshem in this world in front of Umot Olam. Still, the main enjoyment for him where? In Olam Abba. Right. So the sun just gives light during the day, but the moon has. Night and sometimes day, correct? Always day. It just doesn't give light daytime. You don't see it, but it's always day, yes. You see it, but it doesn't give light. So it gives improvement for 
we compare to the sun, the moon gives improvement, there's more improvement for the moon, more improvement for the moon. If you compare it to the sun, you say to the sun, that's it. They hit the maximum, it's the biggest. What is the improvement for the moon? When you see moon daytime, it improves more daytime or improves more at night? Huh? It illuminates all the stars. It improves more at night. Understand? That what cloud is saying. Whatever you have cloud is saying, this world it's only partial. The main enjoyment is in Allah Mabah. Huh? Sun, also you could say that. At night it's sun? I'll give you one million dollars, go outside, find the sun. It's still there. The sun is there. Find it. <laughs> go find my sound, sounds right now. Go find no, it. Just have visible, but it's still it there, depends. Though. It depends where you are. You're not. You're not yeah. saying what I need to say. What I'm to hear. I didn't say it disappears on the face of the world, <laughs> but, the but it doesn't rule nighttime. Moon it's not there during the nighttime. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Russia passes away. He goes to Ghana. Then, eventually, yes or no? Talk to me. No, but it's still there in that world, right? He doesn't get Ghana, but still there. Right? Who cares he's there? Wow. Yeah, he's there. He's in Ghana, not in Ghana. Then. So same thing. Sun is here, but it doesn't rule at night. Anywhere at night, you're not going to find sun there. Anyway, daytime, you could find moon. So that's the proof to you. Tzadik. And here enjoys, but a little bit. The main light he gets in Olam Abba. That's the proof. Can we go further? Please, please. Seven means will be done. Moon has shared daytime and nighttime. It starts like Kedusha starts by daytime like Korban and continues. The bigger, getting bigger and bigger at night. Lirmoz Hemshech Shlitato. To compare his continuation of his ruling, even if it's dark in this world, who Yomla Olama Ba? Udvarim Shebekidusha. Even though it's dark, the moon is dark during the daytime, still it's big light in Olama Ba and for. Things that holy. And it will be during the evening time, night time, will be light. What does that mean? Moon during the night time will be light. Means in Olam Abba, it will be the biggest light. And Tzadik, after he leaves the world, he becomes bigger light. And it will reach that day. He will reach that light. Which light? Your Moshe Yaakov, not your Moshe Esav. The day of Yaakov and not the day of Esav. Oh, then also, yes, Lomar, but Kamanata Midrash, and now we could explain that Midrash also, that his intention was Share Ketiv. It says, Vayulana ala le Mishmar, Vayom Melacha. And night was for us, uh, watching, protecting the city, and the daytime was work. Vayonatan Ben Uziel to the Gemal Pasuk. And Yonatan Ben Uziel, he explained the Pasuk, he translated Pasuk, Vayikra Elohim la Or Yom, and Hashem called the daytime the light he called it day the kara hashem linohuri imama va avdel lemiflach be diary almom vla khashokh kara layla va avdel lemine be brighter honestly i did not understand this clearly i was rushing i'll get back to this later next we are doing Aha, okay, it's clear. And Hashem called the daytime, the, the light day, means So he said, it's only just remaining uh, for a short time, uh, live in this world for like a short while. And the night, Hashem, uh, in, the, in the darkness, Hashem called night. Hashem made it in order the, the creation should be resting at night. Comes out, in this world we are temporary dwelling, and in Olam Abba we'll be having rest. This is what meant Targum when I was explaining on the... Uh, what was that, Pasuk? Vayulana, no. And when it says, and Hashem called the 
light day means temporary dwelling and the night is enjoyable for the creation. Next, we do and it's clear. Torah. It's clear that this world is I said that traveling place. If you're going through hard times, a little bit, it's not you, it's the world. Hashem made the world like this. It means you're normal. You know when it's not normal? When you are okay fully. You okay, you okay, you okay, you okay, you're having good, 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 good time. That when you should be scared. Yeah. When something is good, uh oh, it's not good. That's right. When you're having a little bit hard time, then you're good. Now you're living in this world. Welcome. We do a Shaolam Azeulam Torah. Va'olam Aba U Lemenucha. But Olam Aba is resting. Kedichtiv as it says, Vesham Yanuchu Yagi Ekoach. Over there will rest who? Who worked hard with their power? Koach! What's Koach? What's Matishe Koach? What makes you weaker? Talmud Torah. I don't want to say whatever you work is nothing. No, not true, not true, not true. Whatever you work is 50%. But if you don't give other 50% learning time, then your work becomes weak. But when you give, like you know today, look, look, look. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you go to Shul. You learn Torah. That when your daily, whatever you did till today, daytime, gets parnasa bracha. Why? Because you end up with what? Finishing your day with the Torah. That is the main thing. Once you continue your day with the Torah, this is when your day that you worked got parnasa. Sifrei Musar, including Gimarases, if you learn Torah at night, you have guaranteed bracha for next day. So basically, we got proof. Day working and next day living, both of them get bracha from what? From learning Torah at night. Zohar says, majority of the knowledge of the Torah you have is only from learning at night. Let's go further now. And the sun rules daytime. The high nuzmana Torah. Sun rules when? When the troubling time. Kedichtiv is it says, Tizach Hashem Esh. Yatza Adam lefaolo. Person goes to his job, his work, hard work. And he gets to work until the night. Esav also has, has ruling on this world, but there's no rest in the Olam Haba. Same thing like sun, no rest. <coughs> Honestly, do you feel bad for a sun? Daytime, he's ruling here. Night here, his data ruling somewhere else. You're not gonna find him here now, but he's still ruling, it doesn't rest. Moon has light, no light, light, no light. You know, his resting time also. Therefore, make yourself work, rest. Anyone who rests on Shabbat, he attaches himself to the moon, he attaches himself to Shekhinah, he attaches himself to the world of Torah. Once he doesn't have that, he's automatically detached, which is very dangerous. He becomes like a sun. Day, night, day, night, day, night. In the end, body cannot tolerate that. Rabbi, how do you explain to a person that rest means not doing anything? <coughs> Electrical, driving a car. Some people say, I drive a car, I go shopping, that's my day rest. I rest when I shop. When I go to the store, this, that house. Ask him a question. Somebody's enjoyment to go and kill people. Is that proper enjoyment? <laughs> Extreme, they're not gonna say extreme. So tell him one thing, tell him one thing, one simple thing. Say, if Torah would be written by me and you, if Torah would be written by me and you, I understand, this is your rest, this is fine. This is how you understand rest. But I'm sorry, Torah was written by Hashem. We have to follow rest of His rest. What is His rest? It has nothing to do with something heavy. Don't become something heavy. Pressing the button. That's already not resting. Today with all the gadgets and computers and TV and screens and everywhere you go, every day light, flashing lights. Yeah. If a person just turns himself off for one day. Digital detox. Digital detox. We have <coughs> a digital <coughs> detox plus one shot. This is how it's got to be explained. <laughs> Rabbi Baruch Avraham's theory is... Rabbi Gabriel. 
A person needs a filter. A, a person needs a digital detox. If we cannot ask you a goy that, why would you ask Siri? Exactly. Clarifying, <laughs> clarifying. You can't do that. Why? Because when you want something to happen through you or through Siri, it's a problem. When you don't want it to happen, it happens by itself. It's a different story. You cannot. Sometimes people clap exactly. It's, it's all the stuff that you're not allowed to be done. Okay? Bezad Hashem, one day we'll get there. If the circumstances change, for instance, let's say 20, 40, 50, 60 years from now, cabinets are going to be opened by one. My hand moves, cabinet opens. What if in 30, 40, 50 years from now? Yeah. Rabbi Daniel asking a million dollar question over here. He says in 50 years we'll be like this. You want to open your cabinet, you're going to do with your hand, it's going to open the cabinet. Then you're going to do like this, you're going to close the cabinet. Then you're going to say, Apchi, it's going to come, give you a napkin. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'll tell you? What was that? What was that? Let me hear. His toilet does that already. <laughs> Some say the toilet does it already. Very good. Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. Sing the faucet, now you go like this. Rabbi Tzion, please give me address of your building. Maybe I'll move there also. Uh, bottom line, no, that was joke, that was joke. The bottom line is, the bottom line is, you should know one thing you should know for life. All the technologies come out. Behind this, there's one brain called brain of Klal Israel. I'll give you best example. There is ovens came out, gives light everywhere. There's no buttons. You open, there's light. But there is a system to put near it one magnet to shut off for Shabbat mode. Refrigerators came out. In refrigerator, there's a system program. Shabbat mode. <laughs> Hashem says, in every creation of mine, there's a middle dot. That middle dot is called what? Shechina. Anywhere, even if there is, I do like this, shelf opens up, there is still button before Shabbat to shut it off. So when I do like this, shelf doesn't open up. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Why? Because everything comes out because of Klal Yisrael. We have one more minute. Let's go last paragraph. Oh, but what? This one line. I cannot miss this line. It says, If you prepare for Friday night, you eat on Shabbat. If you don't make shopping, you don't prepare, you're not going to eat. Same thing with Lama If you work hard for Lama there is something good waiting for you. But if a person doesn't work hard for Lama there's nothing waiting for him. And the last piece. Ulfia Derecharishon, yes. Rabbi Yonatan Tzadik. Guys, you could do whatever you want. Don't play basketball with him. He's going to beat you. <laughs> Even though you're 20 years or 30 years older than him. That's Yonatan. Yes, Yonatan. Let's go. Um, so just out of curiosity, how would you ask, like, how would you explain to somebody, they're telling you, oh, there's Shabbat elevators. Why can't you get in the car and drive? You're, um, you're not touching anything. You're just sitting there. <laughs> Rabbi Yonatan, you are amazing. Good basketball player in your question. <laughs> when a person needs to go when a person needs to go to visit a sick relative in the hospital and because of the security purposes they close all the staircases and they left Shabbat elevator for anyone to go there this Shabbat elevator is so uncomfortable sometimes person gets stuck in that elevator for 25 minutes but he cannot press any buttons. Why? Because it's Shabbat elevator. He has to stop at every stop. He has to wait till every stop it does till come to you. When person goes to the car, right? A, car does not turn on by itself. He has to make a movement. Car doesn't even open the door until he presses the button. So how is he going to get into the car? From the roof? What if someone opens the door for you? Ah, someone does already. So if someone does for you something on Shabbat, cannot be done. Shabbat elevator automated before Shabbat, so that's for you, it's for everybody. Shabbat it goes by itself and it comes by itself, right? It's automated before Shabbat. It's working, it doesn't wait for you there. You, you could be there, you could be there waiting for 10 minutes, you could be there 15 minutes. But when you get into your car, you're opening the car. Or someone is opening for you the car. When someone does it, that's already cannot be done. So how do I explain to them? I explain to them that I'm, they're basically- Jonathan, there's only one way. You can't make someone keep Shabbat. Never. From your words, someone will start keeping Shabbat. It's never going to happen. Shabbat people keep only when they see you keep strictly. When you keep Shabbat strictly, 
they keep Shabbat. From your words, nobody listens nothing. You talk to people, goes from here and goes out from there. You want to find a joke? You want to find a joke to that or no? In Israel, Rabbi Lanz is Russian, so I have to be quick. In Israel, 20 students, they took their rabbi to go to hunting. Hunting what? Deer. Rabbi said, no, no. They said, ah, Rabbi, don't worry. No matter how much you're going to shoot, the arrow is not going to get. You're not going to get that. So they all, all start sending only one arrow got into the deer's ears. Both ears and made holes. And they start debating. Who did it? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think was the right answer? Who did it, Rabbi? Because only rabbis make people's holes in the ears. <laughs> Goes in from one side, comes out from the other side. Don't talk to anybody. You want somebody to keep something, you keep. That's all. Let's go for it. Ufia derech harishon. Ufia derech harishon. And according to the first midrash, understanding. Amar haketuf pasuk says lechayom av lechalayla to you day and to you night. Afapi shel idvarim shebekudusha alayla ola chacharayom. Even though for holy things, the night goes after the day. Lecha davka hayom v'acharav af lechalayla. So lecha davka davka the day for you and also. Goes the night as well. Mikol makom beseder laolam vanagato ata hachinota meor veshemesh. But the creation of the according to the structure of the world is going mitchila laila. First goes according to the calculation of the dates and Shabbat and everything goes first night and then goes the day. Vachakach shemesh the high new yom. I want to tell you one thing. I want to tell you one thing, beautiful. I have a sefer. Yes, one good question. He says, Bereshit Bana Elohim, right? Which mitzvah is this? There's no mitzvah. Rashi says, Torah should have started with what? First mitzvah in the Torah. What first mitzvah in the Torah was for Klal Israel? What was first mitzvah? Achodesh Azel Lachem Yerosh Chodashim. Velakach Sela Bet Avoid. Sela Bet Avoid, Sela Bait. First you go, first month is new month to you, and then go do what? So get what, get month, what? what? Under tent, what? What? Under tent, what do you have to get? Korban? Korban. Korban? Korban Pesach. Torah says... The first as a nation or in the Torah? As a nation. As a nation. As a nation. So why, why, why? In the Torah first mitzvah, that's uh, pretty heavy, yeah, no, something else. But why first mitzvah as a nation... Rashi brings this mitzvah. Why Rashi says, Torah shouldn't have started Bereshit. Torah should have started This is new month. When we were in Mitzrayim, Hashem gives us first mitzvah. Now, this month is for your first month. And the 10th of the month, go bring your own Korban. Buy Korban Pesach for yourself. And each one went and bought Korban Pesach for themselves. Why this mitzvah? The answer is, what Rashi says later on, what Rashi says, if Goyim, will come and tell you, guys, you're robbers. You steal. You stole seven nations' land. Eretz is land, right? It belongs to seven nations. So if they tell you you steal, you got na- land of seven nations, what do you tell them? Excuse me? You want to tell me we stole their land? You know what the Torah first mitzvah says? What's this first mitzvah in the Torah? You have to go and get yourself Korban Pesach. Means what? You have to own it. If you stole it, it's not good. If Korban Pesach... We're not going to steal, we're going to steal the land. What are you saying? So stealing has nothing to do with us. But if anyone says that you're robbers, means he doesn't learn our Torah. Once he doesn't learn our Torah, there's no point of arguing with him. He's a goy. Hashem should help us to learn and grow. So if next time somebody asks you, say, why Rashi quotes out of 600 mitzvah of this mitzvah? Oh, because they're stupid stealing. This is what you have to teach him. Kalal Israel are careful about stealing. And we don't steal Baruch Amen, Amen, Shabbat Shalom.